Hi, I'm Nick Gray, the High Tech Traveler. Over the last couple days, I've uploaded quite a few HTC U11 Plus videos, which have included camera shootouts, an FAQ video, and also my first impressions after 24 hours. Today, I'm gonna to give you a closer look at the new software features that this phone has to offer. Right out of the box, the phone is running on Android Oreo 8.0.0 with the October security patch and the latest version of HTC Sense. That means you get the latest Sense launcher, which has a couple new features. You can swipe up anywhere on the home screen to open up the app drawer, or you can swipe down to pull down the notification shade. Now, if you swipe over to the left, you still get blink feed, which can be customized with your own feeds. I'm using Twitter and YouTube right now to customize mine. And if you go back to the home screen and open up the app drawer, this can still be customized. You can do a custom setting, an alphabetical listing, or a most recent. You'll also notice that the app icons have been rounded out. This is using Google's new adaptive icon framework that's built into Android Oreo. So it's not anything that HTC is doing on its own. Since the phone features an 18 by nine aspect ratio display, the fingerprint sensor that's typically on the front of the phone for HTC devices has been moved to the back, leaving room for on-screen navigational buttons. As you can see here, this is not the typical setup that you see, and HTC actually gives you the option to customize the navigational bar. You can just tap and remove specific ones. You always have to have the multitasking, home and back buttons on the main one, but you do get a secondary panel as well. So if I go back to the home screen here and I swipe at the bottom, I get a second set of buttons which can be customized. Another new feature is the always on display that you see here when the display is turned off. You get the time, the date, the battery percentage, and a couple app notification icons there as well. And I'll jump into some of the settings to give you an idea of what the customization options are here. So you go into advanced mode under display, and then click on smart display. You get the option to change between four different clocks and then under setting options, you can choose to use only motion launch or always on. And if you select the always on, you get a schedule option as well. If you only want it to start between certain times or certain days of the week. Like the U11, the U11 Plus also features EdgeSense, which allows you to squeeze the sides of the phone to launch specific applications. A long press here is gonna open up the camera application on the device. And then there's the new Edge Launcher, which I'll trigger with a short squeeze. Now this can be moved from side to side so that it can be used no matter which hand you're using the phone with. And then if you jump in the settings here, it can be customized as well. You can change the scroll interaction from a panel scroll or a free scroll. And then you can customize which applications, contacts, or quick settings show up here. And if you want, you can add additional panels as well or remove any panels that you don't need. Since this phone is running on Android Oreo, you get a lot of other new features as well. One of my favorite is the new picture-in-picture -picture mode. If you're using an app that supports the feature, whenever you go back to the home screen, the app shrinks down to the bottom and can be moved around anywhere you want. If you wanna stop the video, just tap on it and you can close it or you can pause it as well. You also get rich media notifications in the notification panel. This one here is for that YouTube video that we were just watching. It shows the icon and also changes the color of the notification. And then you can also open this up a little bit more. And then if you want, you can switch off notifications completely from that app and control that from there. Up on top in the notification panel, you do have the quick toggle settings. If you pull this down, it displays more of them and you have two panels here, depending on how you have those laid out. And you can customize them by clicking on the pencil and then just drag and drop the settings to customize them exactly how you want. As you can see, there are quite a few new features baked into this phone, but none of them are dramatically better than what you get on the HTC U11 and the older version of HTC Sense. The standout feature that a lot of people have been talking about is the new Edge Launcher. But honestly, after using it for nearly a week now, I don't really see the value in it. If you have any questions about the software itself, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.